So we all know how a spring piston air gun works. You compress the spring, pull the piston back, which draws air into a chamber, and then when you fire it, the spring expands and it compresses the air in that chamber and forces it through the transfer port and out of the barrel. When you transfer this to a high power spring rifle, there's quite a lot going on. There's a lot of dynamics, a lot of movement and a lot of um, forces involved. All of these can be measured. What some people have done, people who are far more technically gifted than I am, is use a thing called an accelerometer. This can measure all the different phases of the shot cycle and um, plot them in real time. So I've synchronized the barrel footage and the spring and piston footage of that fine water bow sport. And we can use that to illustrate what's going on within the shot cycle. So let's have a look. There's three main phases. There's first impact, which is here. There's pellet exit, which is here. And then there's second impact, which is here. So if we look at first impact, that is this point. And this is the point at which all of the air is compressed and it's built up pressure behind the pellet and it's about to shoot the pellet down the barrel. Then pellet exit is this point. So that's where the pellet has exited the barrel. It's also where the air is starting to bounce back on the piston. So the air that didn't go down the barrel um, is causing the piston to bounce back, which is called piston bounce. And then the second impact is the point at which that air then leaves the chamber and then the piston comes to rest at the end of the cylinder. That is second impact. And then all of this resonance is the spring bouncing backwards and forwards, cycling up and down. And that is the point in the shot cycle where you hear the spring go boing. You can change the way these different um, shot cycles behave by adjusting certain things in the gun. So for example, if you wanted to reduce piston bounce, which can cause uh, felt recoil, you could open the transfer port, increase or reduce the piston weight, um, increase the spring preload or reduce the swept volume. All of these things will have an effect on the overall shooting of the gun and getting these all to work in harmony for a particular specific gun, that's proper tuning.